Your shirt can be a wonderful resource to help you develop your streamer personality and to develop your style as a streamer. What's up? What's new? What is happening out there, YouTube? How is everybody doing today? My name is Aaron, aka Feldy, across all the social media platforms out there and on Twitch. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you about using your torso as a means to develop your personality as a streamer and your style as a streamer, because those two things go hand in hand to me. Uh, hand in hand, I think, is a little more like this or like this rather than this, but we'll let it slide. So first off, why is this important? Um, one of the things that comes up is that as a streamer, you have decided to place your webcam in a certain position to take advantage of a certain way of integrating yourself into your video game playing. Um, unless you are a no camera streamer, in which case this video is not for you. But if you stream with a webcam, you have a bunch of real estate um, your body, your background if you choose to use one, if you use a green screen, just your body, and some things that you choose to wear on it are a ton of real estate that you can use to communicate with your viewers. And because you have the option to communicate with your viewers, you have the ability to send the message that you want. So using that, you can develop what you're going to say and have that be in line with what is happening here with what is happening here and arguably what is happening here or here or here or here, however you choose to have your camera, uh, sorry, wherever you choose to have your video game placed and your eyes looking at your camera placed. So for the first one, I'm gonna look at the uh, style that I've adopted for myself. So I've gone collared shirt, nice tie. I've gone and set a vest. I've got a sleeve, a long sleeve shirt, but I roll up the sleeves on the arm. Then I've got uh, usually a little bit of jewelry that I will wear while streaming. So the whole thing that I'm choosing to communicate with this outfit is I am someone who cares about what he looks like. I am someone who is going to be able to talk to you about clothing. Do you want to know about ties? I have definitely set myself up to know about ties. If I pan over this way, you can see a few of the ties that I have in the background, which I've incorporated into my um, background intentionally to further develop that ability to talk about it. Similarly, I'm developing myself as someone you can talk to if you were looking at some formal wear, if you were looking at taking a collared shirt and giving it some sort of personality to it, and as someone that you can talk accessories to. Similarly, I have then set that as a thing that I am willing to communicate with, chat with, and bring up. I'm not streaming like this just because it's comfortable. I actually enjoy this and do find it comfortable, but I am streaming this way because I want chat to know, I want people to remark on it, and I want it as a thing that I am going to keep bringing up. So I'm going to bring up my tie, I'm going to bring up the vest, I'm gonna bring up the accessories, I'm going to bring up some aspect of my style, each stream, and typically repeatedly over the source of the stream. So I'm setting up that I am professional. Let's look at the camera rather than over here while we do it. I'm setting up that I'm someone who takes himself seriously, that I am someone who's going to be professional, that I'm someone who's not stiff, which is the reason for the arms, um, that I am willing to relax a little bit, and that I'm someone that is approachable, but going to hold himself to a high standard. Now that's a lot that I'm communicating there, and not everyone will take those same elements, and not everyone is going to hear all or any of those things that I'm saying. So part of that is up to me. I'm setting the expectations and then I have to say those same expectations to make sure that people are hearing what I'm putting down. In contrast to the last outfit, the one where I am suited up wearing the shirt and tie and vest, this mono, um, mono white, I am a magic player through and through. This plain white t-shirt um, is very, very basic. It leaves, it does not say much. It says that I'm going to wear something comfortable, that I am going to wear something 
simple. It also says, this is not going to be the focus point of me. You can, of course, play with that expectation and actually make it the focus point, which would make for a very cool personality. But the primary thing that a simple white t-shirt is going to do is it's going to contrast the other things that you choose to do. You know what's extremely obvious right now? The watch that I'm wearing. Um, whereas it was just an accessory to my last outfit, in this, out, uh, in this shirt, the watch is particularly prominent. Similarly, if I'm going to wear something colorful in my head, if I'm going to wear something colorful in my ears, if I'm going to do something cool with my beard, or I'm going to do something cool with my background, this shirt is going to be useful for saying, look somewhere else. Which is actually quite useful as a streamer in making use of your torso for that. Hey, I want you to specifically look at something but I don't want you to continually look at it, but I want you to note that thing. I don't want to take any attention away from it. An alternate take that you could potentially do with the uh, plain white tee is that it gives you a canvas, which is a little bit weird, but imagine taking a plain white tee, going to Walmart, going to Amazon, going to eBay, going wherever you wish to buy cheap bulk white tees, Get yourself a pack of Sharpies and use it as something you can draw on. Imagine that. Suddenly you've taken something boring and you've turned it into a canvas. You've taken something that your viewers could interact with and do. Hey, you know what? Fireball29 just subscribed for their nine month in a row. I'm going to write Fireball29 nine months and circle that right on my chest so that everybody can see it. And at the end of this week, we are going to immortalize this shirt. We're gonna frame it, we're gonna put it on the wall for everybody to see. At the end of every, I don't know, at the end of every month, we are gonna auction those, uh, we're gonna auction those shirts off or we're gonna raffle those shirts off to anybody who subscribed in that time period. Um, it's pr pretty freaking amazing that you could do that with sim a simple white tee. Um, what you can do with a shirt like this, so I am wearing a pink shirt. Um, you could adopt a color as your stream colors, and you become the person who wears hot pink every time. Maybe you adopt your favorite color as magenta. Maybe you uh, are going to wear a blue shirt every single stream, and that one time that you wear a green shirt, people are going to lose their minds. It's a cool way to bring um, an element into it. As something with that, you're then going to take that into your personality. You're going to be making use of that color for specific things. If you're adopting pink as your color, whatever your game is, you're going to be looking at pink skins for your stuff. For the logo that you design, you are going to incorporate pink into your logo. Um, for any of your social media, you're probably going to want some sort of pink element. Own that color, make it your thing that you do. And you can do that with a variety of shirts in this way. You could go with the simple t-shirt, you could go with a polo shirt, you could get a wide range of shirts all in that same color range and just cycle through them as you go and just own. What's up? What's new? What's happening? It is Feldy and we are here rocking another pink shirt. You guys know the deal. My favorite color is pink and we are gonna rock this. We have logged in. We have gotten the new pink skin for Apex Legends and we are going to own people with the power of pink. Pretty big deal from uh, just a simple shirt, am I right? All right, next shirt option and torso idea. So for this shirt here, I'm gonna stand up and show it off to you guys. It's a little bit worn. It's something that I got as a gift back in university. It says Ravenclaw. I keep my camera reversed, so, you know, it looks weird and reversed. But for this one, I am rocking the nerdiest t-shirt in my collection, which is a little worn. I tend not to have much of a uh, nerdy shirt side of things. But if you do, streaming is a perfect opportunity to bring them out. Rock those nerdy shirts, start cycling them in, and use them as an opportunity to talk about them. Do you have a wide range of shirts from your favorite anime? Well, you now have the perfect thing to talk about every stream. Let's talk about the shirt, let's talk about where you got it, let's talk about the thing featured on your shirt. 
For me, I'm rocking a Ravenclaw shirt right now. So obviously, this is going to get lead me into discussions about Harry Potter. It's going to lead me into discussions about things like Pottermore. Is Pottermore still a thing? You can continually pull people about what house they belong to, where you think they'd be sorted into. What do you think about the different houses that might be showing up in the uh, prequel universe that, um, uh, what is her name, Rowling has established? Uh, with fantastical beasts and where to find them. Whereas, if your nerdy thing is something different, are you a Magic the Gathering player? Do you have a bunch of shirts that you've picked up over the years to deal with Magic the Gathering? Well, cool. Talk about that shirt, talk about where you got it, talk about why you picked up this shirt. It's gonna give you something cool, people are gonna focus on you, and it's going to establish a thing that people can keep coming back to, and potentially people wait for you to cycle back to. Do you cycle through seven different sorts of media with a couple different shirts? The person who tunes in that wants to talk about, I don't know, Dragon Ball Z. And they missed Dragon Ball Z t-shirt day on Tuesday. They're going to be so disappointed and they're going to come in and they're going to be asking you when you're going to be wearing your DBZ. Huh. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, anyways, they're going to be asking you when you are going to be wearing your Dragon Ball Z shirt next because they are so excited to talk about the new arc that just came out, or what do you think about Master... I can't talk about Dragon Ball Z, let's not even try. But they want to talk about those things and suddenly you have someone who you can tell when specifically to come back and to when they're going to be excited, and you can raise some excitement around that over... Uh, Twitter, showing off what you're going to be doing, bring it into your Instagram. Here's what we are rocking today. Come on out with your questions. I want to discuss this stuff with you. And do you have something that you want to discuss with me, but I don't have a shirt for? Let's see if we can get ourselves into some media and trade what I like and what you like. And we're doing this hand motion again, apparently. So again, this is you making use of something in your collection that you want to talk about and making it a thing that others are going to be asking about and you are going to talk about. You're going to fill that silence with a thing that you already know and love. You're going to show off that you know and love it and people are going to respond to that passion. Now don't go too insanely crazy. Don't spend five hours talking about that same thing. You are going to run the risk of alienating some people, but you want to have it as a thing that you keep coming back to. Sort of a... You're playing your game, you're getting into it, you go to an audience bit, you chat with the people in chat, you go back to another game, you come in, you've, you're like, okay guys, we're coming to the end of this match, when I die here, we are gonna take some more conversations about Ravenclaws. So, who out there is a Ravenclaw? Get your questions ready, and we are gonna chat about that in, while we wait in the lobby for our next match. Wouldn't that be so cool for your stream? What's up, sports fans? How is everybody doing tonight? All right, we are wearing our lucky jersey. The Canucks are playing. They are playing against the Boston, Boston Bruins tonight, and they are going to absolutely annihilate them. It is going to be amazing. Now, I have got my Budweiser. Let's try that again. Now, I have got my Budweiser little game thing going. It is hooked up. When they score a goal, this thing is going to light up. We are going to go wild. So get your hype emotes ready. Get that copied over to your clipboard. We are going to celebrate. And you know what? I might throw a game in the midst of my celebration, but who freaking cares? The Canucks rule. I am so excited for this game tonight. But also, if they lose, I am going to be down. So if that thing doesn't go off, oh, man. Good thing I got this Canucks punching bag here, and we're just going to... Ugh. Pretend it is the captain of the Bruins. Can you tell that this uh, jersey is not mine? Um, my partner is a huge Canucks fan. Um, so I'm absolutely borrowing one of her jerseys for this segment. But seriously, we took an element that you might have in your closet and we've incorporated it into a huge aspect of your personality just with your opener there. You've given yourself a ton of energy. You've given a thing that you're going to talk about repeatedly, a thing to watch out for, a theme for your um, theme for your stream, something you can do, something people can look forward to, and something for other people to gravitate towards. It also gives you another topic of conversation, obviously. 
In this case, as a Vancouver Canucks fan, you would be wanting to talk hockey repeatedly through your stream. You may be able to pair this super well if you were playing um, uh, whatever the latest sports title is in the NHL series, or something else. Set yourself up as a sports player. You're always going to be playing that uh, NBA 2K20 uh, is probably the year this year. Is that still a series? I have no idea. I don't pay attention to sports games. But set yourself up as that sports fanatic. You've got your thing. Every stream is going to be a sports stream. We are going to rock out some sports trivia. We want to know what you are doing out there, sports fans. So come on, bring the noise, show it up in chat. We have got some really cool things to do. Again, incorporating what you've got on your torso. Someone who shows up to a stream that sees you rocking this jersey knows for a fact that you are going to be into this team. You're going to know what you're going to talk about. You have got some legitimacy as a fan. Even if you are spewing whatever out of your mouth, you have got some sort of legitimacy. You've set yourself as a platform. Do expect to get into arguments. Obviously, unless you're in a simple sport that's got four teams, like, you're going to have a divisive group. So you show up with a uh, Vancouver Canucks fan, you're going to get some people in there, particularly if they cheer for the opposing team, who are going to be a little antagonistic. So you might have a little bit of a rowdy chat. So if you don't want that, this might not be the thing for you. But if you love that sports atmosphere, if you love having that beer, that popcorn, that cheering on your team, whatever's going on, this is may be an amazing style for you to consider embracing. And you don't even have to incorporate this into um, the aforementioned sports title. You could play yourself some Fortnite. You could play some PUBG. You could play Apex Legends. You could play Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, Minecraft, Terraria. Pick your game. Someone shows up to whatever game you're playing and sees you in this jersey. They know they can talk to you about two things minimum probably three. They can talk to you about the game, they can talk to you about your team, and they can talk to you about the sport that it belongs to. And giving three things rather than one thing for your chat to talk about is going to give you a ton of influence with the people who are coming and a lot more memorability with those people in sh uh, increasing the odds that they are going to come back to your stream. Because like I have stressed before, viewer um, viewer acquisition is good. Viewer retention is essential as a streamer. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. The very next day, you gave it away. This year, you get whammed anyways. What is up, YouTube? How y'all doing tonight? We are dressed in our favorite seasonal year. It is Christmas I don't care. It is December 1st. I am allowed to rock this Christmas sweater. Let's get jolly out there. We have queued up some interesting music for tonight. We're going to play some jazz instrumental so that it's not like you're in the middle of a mall. The next day, we've got ourselves the Mariah Carey Christmas hits on repeat. And then we're going to go for some rock and blues Christmas tunes. And then we're going to go Snoop Dogg Does Christmas. And then the next day, we are going to do this. And and once this is done, you know what it's like. We're going to go straight into Valentine's Day and we're going to be rocking some pink. We're going to be talking about some rom-coms all of that next month and it is going to be great. We're going to talk about my absolute favorite out there, failure, failure to launch Matthew McConaughey. Oh, we love him. The last option that I have here, if you have not been able to tell, is working off seasonal wear. Are you someone who just absolutely loves a specific holiday or all holidays out there? Do you get enamored with Christmas? Do you love you some Thanksgiving? Do you think Halloween is the best single day of the year? Do you have a thing for Arbor Day? Does Arbor Day exist or is that literally just a joke that's out there? Are you someone who knows what's going, going on each month, has a thing that you can glomp onto, a thing that you can gravitate towards and something that you can show off. This tells you that I want to talk about Christmas. If you show up in a Valentine's shirt, I know you want to talk about Valentine's Day. If you are rocking some cool Halloween costumes, we are going to talk about amazing costuming and we're going to talk about Halloween and we're going to talk about traditions. So again, 
using your torso as a way to influence what you are talking about. In this case, um, seasonal wear. Now this one's going to be a little bit more difficult and will be a difficult thing to embrace if you don't already embrace it because seasonal wear is kind of expensive. For the rest of the stuff that I've suggested, it's probably things that you have in your closet. But um, for seasonal wear, particularly if you want to go deep on it, um, rather than as a one-shot thing, if you want to go deep on it, it's something that you might have to invest a bit into. Um, getting yourself a couple Christmas sweaters, getting yourself a couple Valentine's things, getting some ugly Easter wear, or getting the like most ridiculous pastel suit that you could possibly see. Are you going to be wearing, um, like, are you going to be wearing a bunch of cool t-shirts that say, that have like giant sunglasses on them for the summertime? Do you get super into Canada Day or the 4th of July or whatever your country's, um, historic celebration day that you do cool things about? Well, this is going to be a great way to put that on your, uh, put it on a canvas in your body and give you a thing to cycle through. One thing that you may possibly run into with your chosen style, if you go with one of the other options, is you might eventually find yourself burning out on the topic or running out of things to talk about. If you are cycling through seasonal wear, you gain a wonderful benefit of having a short-term time of things to talk about. Seasonal wear is probably going to be December 1st until... Christmas and then you're gonna rock a one week period where you're gonna be running some um, rocking some New Year's uh, things like a countdown clock or things like that and then it's gonna give you something for people to be asking what you're doing next are you in the midst of Christmas people are gonna be asking you what you're doing for New Year's and it gives you a thing to talk about as well as talking about Christmas as well as talking about well ugly Christmas sweaters or uh, what their New Year's plans are or why you would rock a hat and a streamer for everything that you do as opposed to having sparklers constantly. Um, it's also going to give you the opportunity to talk about all the other holidays out there, what you're doing, what your specific plans are, and where you got your cool stuff. Because, let's be honest, ugly sweaters are hip. This thing is so adorable that I bet at least one of you wants to know where I got it. Did you get this rockin' sweater off Amazon? Well, let me link you to it so that you and me can rock along to it. Or you can see this amazing ugly sweater that I got. Do you have, like, the best Canada Day suit ever? Well, let me link it to you in chat so that you guys can show up to your Canada Day party rocking this too. Or you can show up to your 4th of July party rocking a Canada Day suit, and everyone's gonna go like, whoa, Canadian alert, eh? And they're definitely a thousand percent gonna put that A in there. All right, everybody, so that is going to be it for the different outfits that you're gonna see, because I rocked a lot of different outfits through this. Now, by no means is this a definitive list. There is practically infinite combinations of things that you can come up with. What I'm gonna recommend to you is Look through your closet, see if there's some running themes that you have there. Think about your own individual style. Think about things that you like. Uh, do you like a specific color? Do you have a bunch of graphic tees? Do you have some band t-shirts? Do you have that seasonal wear that I highlighted? Do you have a bunch of sports stuff? Think about what you have, think about what you like, and think about what you can incorporate into your torso. And then grab a piece. Uh, grab a pen, grab some paper, and start writing down some things that you can talk about with it. Um, do you have something that you want to incorporate and you want to talk more about it? Sound off below. I would love to see the cool things that you guys come up with um, and how you manage to incorporate that into your stream. I would love to know what you think of this idea. Do you think this is a legitimate idea that holds some power? Or do you think I am just blowing smoke out there and no one actually reads anything into the clothing that you're wearing? All right, this has been an absolute blast to do with you guys. And it's been so cool to be on camera doing things outside of my usual style, rocking a couple different things for you guys. All right, my name is Aaron, aka Feldy. I stream Sunday through to Wednesday on Twitch, link below. Thanks for hanging, and I will see you guys next time.